we've often talked about it as a posterior glide. This posterior glide actually has an internal rotation movement with it. I want to share with you how the mechanics of a fibula work when moving into dorsiflexion. I mentioned this on my podcast, Unreal Results, about unlocking the fibula, how we want to restore posterior glide of the distal fibula while the ankle is moving into dorsiflexion. This posterior glide actually has an internal rotation arthrokinematic movement with it. So let's check it out. Show really closely like how the groove of the tibia is what dictates that movement, right? Because the tibia has this dip where that distal fibula sits in. And so when it glides back, it's not just a straight glide back, the bone actually internally rotates. So the glide posterior is a combination of internal rotation and posterior glide. So then up at the top, so as it internally rotates, it glides forward. And as it externally rotates, it glides back. 